you ever wanted to be a pro in Fortnite with your edits and your insane kills, well here's a video for you. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so getting into today's video, this is going to be a pretty cool video. I'm going to be showing you a few cool different keybinds for your edits and all that good stuff for you guys. I'm going to be also showing you how to practice your aim and basically just improve you at Fortnite. Right now, um, before the update, you used to have to hold to edit. Basically, any real uh, change for the edit button, you're going to be able to just tap it. So you're going to be able to improve your aim, um, edits that much. Um, basically, for the sensitivity, I run on 1010. This personally, um, I personally want you guys to get to a sensitivity you feel best at. Now, the reason I also say this is 10 is probably the best for your edits because you're going to be able to edit faster um, than having a 5 sensitivity. But I also say go to the sensitivity that you feel best with. But I go for 10 and I just change my ADS um, settings to a little slower so that means um, when I aim and all that good stuff I can actually kill people without being all over the screen as I'm personally more of a PC player but I have been getting into the console scene for Fortnite because of the updates I've been doing. But anyways, ne now for the next thing, for my ADS basically that's what I'm running, 0.44 and 0.40. Um, you can change this, I might change my scope one a little higher for when I aim with my sniper. You want to want to change sprint by default. You've probably already seen videos um, on your keybinds and stuff but sprint by default it might take a lot to get to used to and actually this whole video is going to take a lot to get used to but I am still getting used to this so don't think it's going to take well. It's going to be worth it in the long run. Um, you're going to be able to get some insane plays and all that good stuff. Now obviously just copy these settings if you want. Um, it's more personal preference for so some of them like tap to search, um, interact and all that. Turbo building obviously you want that on. Auto change material on. Um, any of the other stuff like auto doors is really up to you, like auto sort consumables to right, I like that, um, so it doesn't get in the way of your guns um, when you quickly pick it up and you need to get some kills. Now we're going to get to the good stuff, I personally play on Builder Pro, you guys might have a custom setting on Combat Pro or Old School, all you're going to do is just change what I have, um, X to Map, um, also if you're on Xbox One you can do the same things um, I do have later on in the video a setting for Xbox One people as well I'm just going to change everything I have here um, for the PS4 controller and even the Xbox One controller you can have it all the same your map um, your edit might be in the different spot though because you don't have the big um, button there but that's pretty simple this is more for PS4 controllers but soon you'll have one for Xbox One controllers and PS4 controllers so basically you can have this as well but now the jump button is with your left stick and you're going to be pushing down on that this is to help your aim um, when jumping so you can also look around when jumping easily won't have to take your um, fingers off the triggers and aim this will improve your killing and all that good stuff and overall make you better at the game but it's going to take a lot to get used to same with where the map is same with the editing it's going to take you a lot to get used to i'd recommend getting into like maybe a playground game a day and just practicing um basically your your new settings so it's just going to allow you to do so much good stuff quicker and it's just good it's all out good you're going to be able to rush people like this preferably do the floor and then roof but whatever um it's just going to help you guys and hope it will help everyone watching this and PS4 controllers and the Xbox One controllers because um, you can change your edit to the X button or the A button I believe on Xbox One and that's what I'll be showing soon. You can also do your ramps so you don't have to switch it as hard as you saw I just did then. It's going to take a lot to get used to there as well but basically yeah I can't stop saying it. it's just going to take a lot to get used to. I'm still not even used to this. It's still weird not having to hold it down and all this so um, I'll be getting on to the next setting very shortly. Um, see, I just I've been taking my time trying to figure out new things like how to do it faster and change my settings and all that. That's what I'm doing for you guys. I want to help you guys out. But now I'm going to be changing my settings and I'm going to be showing you another way to do your edits. You want to change basically the X button to your edit. Um, this also is for Xbox One players and PS4 players. Um, your auto run is obviously the right. Um, you can change that person's preference. Um, so now you can also change your crouch button to your reload. Um, that will help out a lot, but I personally don't do it because I just don't feel comfortable with it. But others can. So now basically I've changed my edit button to my A or my X. And it's going to help you out. Depends if you like that more. 
this is more for Xbox One players, but PS4 players, obviously, you can use it. Um, I just personally like the big button in the middle, really, to do it, um, but you guys might feel different. It's also going to be the same, you don't have to hold it, you just tap. So yeah, it's just overall going to be helpful. If you have, you know, this video has helped you, or you do want to subscribe, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on and like the video, because we are getting up there and I want to do some better videos, maybe some funny videos and all that good stuff for you lads and girls if you're watching but that will be pretty cool now i'm going to be showing you how to practice your aim it's fairly simple all you're going to do is place a consumable on top of a floor like this you want to set it up like how i have and that's basically going to stay there and not fall this will allow you to practice your aim on in a second you're going to need two bounce pads and preferably build it out of metal or brick so that way if you do miss the well you're obviously going to miss it because it goes right through but it just means you have more hits and you won't have to go over and rebuild it um, it's going to improve your tracking on players and it's going to improve your just overall um, aim in general um, with a high or low sensitivity. That's why if you have a tense sensitivity this is going to help because you're going to be able to practice your high aim, um, like making it not as jittery and just have it as, you know, smooth and running. So that's pretty cool. I do like that and I do practice with this a bit now. I, this was my first time ever doing it. I was saw it on YouTube. I can't remember. I saw it ages ago but I was like why not set it up and show you guys it because get it out there so you can practice your aim and all that, you know, juicy stuff. But basically, this is basically the video and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you want more, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video and I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Peace.